In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to draw one of the artificial leaves from the still life. This technique can be applied to these particular types of leaves or really any of the leaves that are artificial um, or real. First step, select your leaf, draw your basic um, lines, your basic major things that you're going to need uh, in order to know where to put your values. It's important that when you do go back to shade your leaf that you are looking at the leaf that you drew or trying to find one that's very similar um, in form and in placement. When you begin, you need to uh, break the leaf down into smaller sections. And when I say smaller sections, if you notice the space between the veins, you are going to notice that each of those spaces has this little tiny form to it or a little tiny bump. And within each small section, you're going to have um, an array of values. So use your veins as the edges and use between the veins for that gradual um, blend of values. Okay, and then you're just going to kind of continue adding um, one section at a time um, until you start to kind of fill more and more in. So again, just one section at a time, paying attention to the light and dark tones within the edges of each section. And typically those edges will be where you drew the veins. Okay, I finally went back and, and sort of lightened up my drawing. I wanted to kind of keep it there for a minute so you could see what I was referring to. If you have not at this point, you should definitely go back in um, take your kneadable eraser and lighten up your edges. At this time, I'm just continuing to add another section at a time, paying more attention to um, detail as I go. Okay, uh, You can see here, uh, I have a little bit more done, about a fourth of the way done. And I've also started to pull out some of my lighter details because you might notice that along the veins, you see either a very light edge or a dark edge. So wherever I'm seeing the light kind of pooling in that vein area, I would take a stick eraser and pull that white value out. Okay, don't forget about the white that goes around this particular style of leaf. Now you are going to add that pink in, but it'll just be a really light value. So do pay attention to the white that surrounds the green part of the leaf because it, although it will probably mostly be white. It probably won't be entirely white. So really double check that to see if there's any really light values that you're missing. Okay, a final step, and this is sort of where I'm gonna end the leaf because I think you're hopefully getting the idea. A final step would be to take my kneadable eraser one more time and pull out any of those highlights or any of those really light line details or light vein details that I need to. And you can, I've, I've sort of, indicated um, where I've done that at, up to this point um, with the uh, blue arrows. Okay, and then this is sort of my final slide. So the reason I put a dark value behind this leaf is so that you can, you can see that eventually there will be no outline around the leaf. There will be something behind the leaf that is either a lighter or darker value. And whatever falls naturally behind the leaf will end up creating the edge of that leaf um, through the value that it uh, that occurs naturally within that object. Hopefully this is somewhat helpful. Um, take it a step at a time. I'm sure you'll do great. Uh, let us know if you have any questions.